this is what the Netflix do. They don't train and develop uh, employee, rather just change them. If you are pursuing or looking to pursue career in HR, I want to tell you one thing, or, or if you are the owner of a company, I just want to tell you that an HR is the most important person for any company. Yep, you're right. Marketing, sales, supply chain, production, they all are very important. But why HR? Let me tell you that. Why HR is the most important person? Well, assume. Let's take an example. You want an X position, which is a good position, not that C-level position, but a good position. You want a person. So you ran a recruitment drive, which let's assume costed $100. Okay, you spend $100 and you get, you hire a person and you thought that this person would be good fit for the company. Yep, you know, hiring is basically guessing that this person would be right, but firing, as per Gary V, firing is an, uh, is an informed decision because you know why you are firing the person because th that person is not performing well for the company, so you decided to lay him off. You hire a person for $100 and within two to three days, and I'm exaggerating it, within two to three days, you, can, you, you get it on one day or you give him an, an, a task and you can get him for about in an hour or maybe less. That what does this person can do? For two to three, after two to three days, you realize that, oh my God, this person I think is not good for the company. Now the HR roles come into play. Now the HR most of the time says that, what? My decision cannot go wrong. I hired this person. It just cannot be. So, let's go into training and development program. Training and development program. In Urdu, we call this thing, truck ki batti ke piche laga diya. You know, running after the truck's uh, headlight or the back of the backlight and you are running after it and the truck is going away from you. And because now that training and development program could cost around thousand dollars. Let's take it as an, as an example, thousand dollars spending a person upon with no guarantee, no guarantee that whether that, that person would, would enhance or grow and be suitable for the company. That's why, I, uh, and, 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 not that's why, and, when you are actually running the training development program, that's basically around a month or so. So you again spend a month, a month's time to actually let him grow or be as per your standard. What if, now what if, if you have fired that person, what would be the consequences? You have to spend again a thousand dollars, hundred dollars, sorry, hundred dollars, and you could have a better person. You can have a better person who would be running your company. Because right now you know that what is required at that position. You had a bad experience, you learned from that experience, and you could have grown. This is what the Netflix do. I read a case study upon Netflix, and they do the same thing. They don't train and develop uh, employee. Rather, just change them. They say, if you cannot develop yourself, why we should invest in you? There's a line of money saying, sign up. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and believe.